this is where 12 Rods used to practice, and this is where it all happens. Just come over here and play music and party and exist. I like to refer to 12 Rods as the greatest tribe I was ever in. That everyone was so insane that everyone except Ryan just got naked. <laughs> After that, I just, you know, the fire was lit. The session started at midnight and we'd go to like 8 or 10 a.m. I just remember being so hungry. Like I would have sucked a dick for a piece of pizza. 12 Rise Mill City Music Festival starting Saturday through Monday. I got some original copies of the gay P. Oh. These are original. This is 12 Rod's first release, and if this is any sign of things to come, I have faith in the future music. Why did I do this? And it's all frustration and a lot of anger and a lot of really just dealing with the day-to-day -day routine of having to deal with my band. Unfortunately for a band that was so original, they seemed to somehow be falling into traditional record industry breakdowns. There was a lot of power struggles and a lot of, you know, drugs or physical or whatever that we're going through, mental stuff, it took its toll, you know. The end was very abrupt. That's how it felt. And we never fully got over it. It was doing this one-off thing for fun, you know. Not a lot of people that love the band. People still love this music and love this beat. To me, it's, it's such a victory. Thank you very much. We were 12 Rods. <laughs>